Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic and your journey to self-betterment is going better than fantastic as well. So let's get straight to it. Failure. Failure. That can be a scary word for many to hear and many to think about. People avoid it like the plague because of the pain that is often associated with it. Then to add to that. Many of us grew up in horrible horrible homes. Many of us were called horrible names by the people that were supposed to love us and care for us. They didn't just call us names. They took from us. They took and took and took from us. And they and the world basically said. You are going to be nothing. And one day just passes on to the next. You see. I grew up in such a home. I was in slow learning classes my entire life. I don't even know how I graduated high school. I think whoever was there that was making the decisions let me pass. Every day of my life for all the time I spent in school I felt like a literal dummy. My self-esteem was stripped from me. When I was really young on top of that because of my mother who was a narcissist took pleasure in embarrassing me at school and around my classmates. So not only was I failing school and in slow learning classes. I had no friends. And not only that. I was mistreated by my classmates every day. But something happened. We moved to another area of town. The new environment we were in didn't allow my mother to interact with my classmates as much. And I was able to make some friends. I perked right up. I felt like I was having a success. But I quickly found out I was still failing school again. I tried and tried and tried. I would stay up until 3 and 4 in the morning doing my homework completely wrong. And getting my homework back with tons of red ink and negative comments by the teachers. What kind of job can I do with this type of education? But I kept plugging away. And when I got out of high school. I went from one job to the next. Some with terrible bosses. And some with nice bosses. And no matter the job. I found out something very quick. That I wasn't dumb. Some people there would say. Why are you working here? You are so smart. In meetings you come up with great ideas and I have never heard anyone speak the way you speak. Well the reason why I was still working there was I didn't have the right education. But I kept that to myself. And as time and life went on. I had ups and downs. And downs and ups. And through some of those downs was me getting entangled in bad relationships with narcissists. One being my ex-wife Susie. And during this process I learned about narcissism. And I grew and grew. I worked hard to better my life and to share with others what I had learned. And that's pretty much all it was. Just trying to better myself to the best of my ability. But then my channel here started to take off a bit. And I said. You know. Maybe this is what I was meant for. You see there was another career that came my way several years ago. A career I would have been a good fit for. A career I could have used my personality and love for helping people. I was so jazzed up about it. Finally my life is going to work out. And then that industry completely tanked and this wonderful life opportunity vanished right in front of my face. Then years later. I learn about narcissism to help fix my life as I realized I was being abused by them since I've been living. And again. Making videos was just about helping others. But also helping relearn this stuff for myself. So I could better myself so when in society. I could have a fair chance to make friends and give love and to be loved. And to not get taken advantage of ever again. But something nice happened. Support. 
I received so many wonderful comments from all of you. James. You can do it. Keep going. Your channel is growing and it's helpful to so many people. And things were headed in the way for myself and for others out there. This was going to be our job. It was really getting to be that close. I and others had our hand on the handle of the door and as we were opening it. And then the door got shut right in our faces. You see there were some changes on this platform that hurt a lot of content creators in a big big way. And many of you remember there were some struggles with this channel some time ago. And once again. I was thinking. Why is it when I get so close? The door gets slammed in my face? And here's the thing. I know I'm not alone. I'm pretty sure you and you and you and you. Feel the exact same way. And it's easy to get discouraged. It's so so easy to get discouraged. You mean I work my butt off? I get so close to making something good for myself and then this happens. I remember when I met Susie. And she was love bombing me. And boy oh boy. That love bombing is something else isn't it? I felt so good. I felt like I was on top of the hill. So what I came from a terrible home. Where my mother didn't have the ability to love me as she didn't have the ability for love at all. I had this woman in my life that loves me so much. Or so I thought. Or so I thought. And then we fast forward several years later. I realized Susie is just like my mother. A narcissist without the ability to love me let alone love anyone else. And that our entire relationship was a complete and utter lie. And the honest truth is. Everything that you and I have been through seems like to be just too much to bear. But I had a chance to think about things very carefully. I slowed things down as we've talked about before here. And what I realized through every failure I was learning and growing. Painfully so. But I was indeed learning and growing. Had I not gone through the pain of being with Susie and finding out she was a narcissist. And what narcissism even was. I would have never realized what my mother was and why I grew up the way I did. And to be able to get some mental closure on that issue. Simply because I was able to find some answers. I was no dummy like they made me feel in school. I was able to figure these things out about my life and what was going on around me. Things I was never meant to figure out. You see. The great Les Brown talks about how your failure is the tuition you have to pay for what you don't know to get where you want to be. And if you can combine that with grit and hard work. You have something special. You know I was talking with my good friend that knows about my life. He's really the only one that does. And was trying to help me brainstorm about things I could do for a better future. You see this channel is and was a success. Simply because it's helping people. The money that is made keeps things going. But it wasn't nor is it a bad business idea if one wants to look at it that way. Who would ever think a little cartoon man would be talking with millions on top of millions of people across the entire world. And while I'm here helping spread the word about what I know. I'm sure my mind. With God's help will bring me to an idea that I can get going so my life can make a better turn. And so can you. And so can you. I bring up this channel and its struggles and successes because imagine not just for myself but others in the same boat as I. What if the things that happened didn't happen? And we were allowed to flourish. We would be right up there. Helping more people and possibly possibly being able to make a living. And because it didn't happen that way doesn't make it a bad thing. And what I can say is some failures there that were through no fault of the content creators. And what it proves to me is. There are some smart smart content creators out there. And if they keep going and going and going. They are going to find their way. Something is going to happen where they are going to be able to get where they want to go in life. And I see and feel that about you out there too. Just because you didn't get what you wanted out of something doesn't mean it's a failure. And even if it is. Like Les Brown says. Use these failures. Because they are the tuition you have to pay for what you don't know. So you can get to where you want to be in life.
as Les Brown likes to say. I was behind on my bills and my dreams. But I kept on going. He was a motivational speaker without having two nickels to rub together at the time. But he was and is talented. And like myself and some of you. He was also in slow learning classes. He was told he couldn't learn. He was made to feel like he was a dummy. But when you hear Les Brown speak and talk. You hear the voice of someone brilliant. Smart and with God's hands all over him. Now think about that for a moment. What if Les Brown let all of his life failures take him out of the game of life? Regardless if they were failures of his own doing. Or something someone did to him. Les talks about how he's had ideas stolen. And others lying to his face and ripping him off. And him trusting the wrong people. But he couldn't stop. Because he and other successful people know. It's grit that wins. It's standing back up after you've been knocked down that wins. It's the refusal to go quietly in the night that wins. It's the ability to look at your failures no matter how those failures happened and coming up with a new plan. That's what wins. That's why I didn't stop. I was once thinking. Wow. I can actually help people for a living. And when the for a living part changed. Did I stop? No. Because I knew what I was doing and I'm currently doing is worthwhile. Regardless if some platform wants to acknowledge it or not. And I know if I keep doing what I'm doing. It will spill into other areas of my life. And success will grow. Success in life. Whatever that looks like. At being successful at being happy. At saying I left it all on the field. I used my talents and I not only helped myself but I gave back and I helped people. I made friends. I laughed loved and cried. And I wouldn't stop. Sure maybe I got knocked down. But it was just for a moment. I and you both got up. You are here. So am I. We made it out. How many people could survive what we lived through? That's not a failure I don't care what your bank account says. You are a winner. And you are one of the toughest people I know. And that same toughness and that same grit can be used in other areas of your life. Tap into it. Use your failures to succeed. Think. Think. Wait that wasn't a bad idea. It just wasn't the correct timing. Or you learn how to do something better. Figure it out. You figured out how to get out of your terrible toxic home. Now it's time to figure out how to live and to be happy on your own. Don't be afraid of doing well because you failed yesterday. That's why evil people seem to be ahead in life because they have convinced you and I that we must be scared all the time. Are you still here? Am I still here? Yes. Well we are still in the game no matter how many times we've failed. And we've learned a heck of a lot along the way. So please. As Les Brown has said so many times. Don't let your wonderful wonderful ideas be buried with you in the cemetery unused. Stand up. And fail and fail and fail again until you get what it is you are looking for in life. And even once you get to the top of the mountain. There will be another mountain to climb with more failures and successes right there waiting for us. As they wave at us and say. Hello James. It's failure. Remember me? I haven't seen you in a long time. We're going to have some fun for the next few weeks. And that's when you must stay in prayer and you must dig down deep and keep going. Because when you give up. Satan wins. His demons win. And his narcissists win. Show God you believe in his good works and love and don't stop no matter how bad it gets. Pick yourself up off of the floor and keep going and going and going. Les Brown tells a story of a man finally passing his law school bar test on the 48th try. Can you imagine? But that's our life. That's our life. Look ladies and gentlemen. Things might not happen for you or me on our first second or a hundred and tenth try. But it's the person that tries a hundred and eleven times that might stand a better chance than we at obtaining their goals in life. 
So we must not be afraid to fail and we must not be afraid that somehow our past failures equals complete and utter doom for our lives. Because it doesn't. You are carefully made by the Most High God. You are blessed and highly favored. God loves you and wants the best for you and your life. But it's up to you to use the tools God has given to you to keep pushing forward through the evil of laughing demons and narcissists that want to see you lose at life. Because they know your talents loves and dreams. And they want those talents loves and dreams buried in the cemetery unused and unfulfilled. That's all I have for today. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.